The role of Paris is fundamental in shaping Dubuffet's unique vision. He lacks its energy, its vitality, its sense of chaos and liveliness. Le Rouge au Château was painted by Jean Dubuffet in 1975, 10 years before his death in 1985. The last decade of Jean Dubuffet's life is incredibly productive. He returns to the theme of the city, which he first started investigating at the very beginning of his artistic career in 1943. Here, Dubuffet keeps the notion of place and figures that we see in his previous works, but he translates it into a completely abstract landscape. This is a very meaningful decision to him, because by doing so, he distances himself from reality, and he conveys the notion that there is no objectivity that all situations in our lives are perceived through the distorted subjectivity of our own mind and memory. The three works offered in the day cell each show an additional step on the path towards complete abstraction. Cite aussi personnage was painted in 1981, six years after Le Rouge au Château. Here, Dubuffet drops the notion of horizon in favor of an all-over composition. We are much further away from representing reality than in his previous works. Then we have two beautiful examples from the very last series of Jean Dubuffet's œuvre called The Mire. Mir G95 is painted on a vivid yellow background. The color yellow reminds Dubuffet of signs in the streets of China. This is why this work is also titled Kalu in reference of a frenzied neighborhood in Hong Kong. But what is most striking with the Mir series is the total disappearance of the figures. It's as if by the very end of his life, Dubuffet finally dares to shift to complete abstraction. Dramatic 10 painted in 1984 is at once the most simple and radical composition. Dubuffet only uses three colors, blue, white, and red on a black background. It's as if he invented a kind of abstract writing in reference to the graffiti that he'd seen in the streets of Paris. His vision and his interest in graffiti would inspire a whole generation of contemporary artists, from Jean-Michel Basquiat to Rachid Johnson. With the depth of his creation and multiple inspirations, Jean Dubuffet is perceived today as one of the most important artists of the 20th century.